this is Vlad here and welcome to this lesson. Today we'll go over um, drawing modes, pack modes and the transform panel. Let's begin. First let's draw basic shape and switch the draw mode from normal to behind. So let's draw some other shapes here. Okay, this okay. So just maybe put some other color that will work. You see, everything is drawn behind. So if you make it black, and we draw, we see that we draw actually in front. But if we switch to back, we draw in back. Actually. You also got the option to draw inside. Now we can draw inside. Let's put some other colors here. And when we switch back to normal, we see, let's delete those first. We see that everything is drawn inside. And we got a standard clipping mask made automatically without us having to draw one. This is certainly very useful. Okay, let's go and show you the transform panel. We can choose the drawing point. So let's say the top button. And if you choose the width, you can see that everything is done from that point, same for height. You can make it center or maybe left. And you get the idea. You can choose to scale strokes and effects when you scroll. scroll. So let's uh, put something here, maybe blue. And if you choose this one, you can see when you scale, everything scales up. So if you scale really big, everything will be big. But if you disable this, they stay just as small. Now you can align to pixel grid, which is basically this grid. You can find it from window, actually view, sorry, hide grid or show grid. And I'll show you how to work with it when uh, we get to the preferences after the preferences lesson when you get to guides and grids. Okay, the next one we need is the path options. So first is we see two called join and average. In order to demonstrate this, we will show you another thing. We can use add anchor points. So now we got Everything is subdivided and you got four additional points. From each line in the middle, you get a new point. This works for stars as well. So in this case, we'll get a point here, 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 and here. You get the idea. Okay, so let's um, maybe you can select them both and scale them. And now we can do something like this maybe. You can choose to remove anchor points, which will remove them. You can choose to simplify. And the object will try to uh, reduce the number of points. Now nothing happens because it's a very simple object, but uh, let's um, roughen it a little. Okay, and now I'll show you how to expand appearance, which basically makes your transformation final. Okay, so let's go to path and use simplify. You can see we got original points and the current number of points. And if you drop down, the points number should still be reduced. Now there is a limit of how much you can reduce, but you get the idea. You can also choose straight lines or show original as well. Okay, moving forward. You have the object to divide objects below. So let's say uh, we draw the star. Let's make it a different color. Objects, path, divide objects below. Sorry, you have to adjust one object selected, so divide objects below. 
and there we go we can release the compound pack and everything below will be divided you got the idea now okay the next thing uh, you see join and average now what are those so let's assume uh, we got the star and you want to delete this point that's remove it using the pen tool which will just continue the line but actually choosing the direct selection tool selecting the point and press delete so in this case those two points are not connected so if we press we select the two points we choose object pack join now there is a line between them for average it's again pretty simple we go to pack and select average and you can select vertical maybe and they're all bound together in the middle remember you don't have two, one point here you have still two so one way to get around this is delete the first point you select and press ctrl j to unite again and join them and there you go the last one is called split into grid So this allows you to make grids. There you go. You just split everything into grids. Very useful. Okay, I think I covered them all. We may have uh, one more called cleanup. Also, you have outline stroke, which uh, let me show you. So let's make a stroke here, sorry, to make a stroke, maybe make it like three points, put it on the inside, and let's say outline stroke. And if we ungroup, the stroke is separated and make a compound pack. Okay, then select this big shape, then we got um, cleanup. And you can choose to delete straight points you got in artboard, unpainted objects, or empty text pads. This is nothing serious. Okay. And that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one. Thank you.